Hey, what's going on everybody? Joe Munoz, One Step Prep. The number one, onestepprep.com. Juan and Joe, the J&J &J team, your friends. In training program success, I hope this video finds you well. And I wanna talk about a little image that we're gonna throw up on the screen here in just a moment relating to the go around on the 737. All right, now something I see often is that pilots, because we don't do go-arounds on a regular basis, which is a good thing, I suppose, that doesn't mean you shouldn't be doing them, though, if you need to. If at any point the approach is in doubt, you're unstable, you're high energy, you don't think it's going to work out, go around. But just understand this, what I'm about to tell you. I'm going to show you an image here in just a moment where we did a go-around in a simulator and it appears to me that perhaps the flight crew forgot that upon toga selection, the autopilot disconnects, and they were left a little bit surprised. So I want to bring this up in this video. I thought this was important enough to do a video just about this. So I hope it finds you well, and I can't wait to dive into this with you right now. All right, so keep in mind, on the 737, the NG and the Classic both, if I'm doing an approach with one autopilot, upon selection of toga, that one autopilot will disconnect. And of course, if the auto throttle is engaged, the auto throttle will advance thrust to the go around thrust setting. Now, because the engines are mounted under the wings, the application of thrust will produce a fairly significant nose up pitching moment. And if you're not prepared to take control of the airplane, and furthermore, you have thrust advancing, you can potentially end up in a situation where you have the nose exceeding the flight director command. Now, look at this image here, and what you're gonna find is exactly that. How do I get into this? I posted up a couple days back on social media, a question with this image. How do you find yourself in this situation? By the way, everybody had great feedback. Some of you said toga, the, the go around, which is exactly what I was looking for. Some of you said uh, potentially a wind shear escape maneuver, which could also potentially be the case, right? But for this particular situation, what it happened to be was the selection of toga and not grabbing control of the airplane and following the flight director command. Now imagine this, right? You're nosing up and of course you see the speed is trending down fairly significantly here. So we're slowing down. And I asked the flight crew while we were in the sim, I froze the sim here, and I said, hey, you know what happens when the speed is low? And they said, well, yeah, you know, you, you start to lose, uh, you're approaching a stall, and you start losing control effectivity. I said, yeah, absolutely. Okay, but before that, you know what happens? I get nervous, <laughs> okay? What happens when the speed gets low, brother man, is that I get nervous, okay? Now, why am I getting nervous? Because of all the things that you just said, right? So let's talk about this really quick particularly on a single engine, can you all imagine looking at that picture that you're one engine, you're single engine, and now you find yourself in a situation where you're significantly high nose of pitch attitude, lots of thrust, and a decaying airspeed trend. Your rudder effectiveness is reducing. You agree? I'm losing rudder effectiveness. I'm losing flight control surface effectiveness. And so for this reason, why do I make this video? I just thought it was important enough for you to understand, those of you that are 737 drivers, if you're doing a single autopilot approach upon selection of toga, that one autopilot will indeed disconnect and you should be aware of that. And furthermore, do not, do not go above the flight director. Remember that when you select toga, you're either going to get takeoff thrust or you're going to get go around thrust. These are both fixed thrust settings. What that means is this, the thrust is fixed. It will not vary to maintain speed. So the only thing that can vary to maintain speed is what? Pitch, right? Pitch is the only thing that we have to vary our speed with this selection of toga. So if you bring the nose above the flight director, we're gonna see a decreasing trend in our speed and furthermore, we're gonna have decreasing effectiveness of the flight control surfaces. You're gonna be approaching stall. Everything is bad. The instructor gets nervous. I know I certainly do. 
So the moral of the story is this, folks. Do the go around if need be. I'm certainly a huge advocate for them when they need to be carried out. Don't think twice about that. But just understand, particularly here we're talking 737 NG and Classic, upon selection of Togo with one autopilot engage, that one autopilot will disengage and you'll be left to hand fly your aircraft. about one step prep then. What's I your comment it. about one step prep? I love it here. I wish I went through here initially. Um, I've learned a lot. He, he does a wonderful job. He explains a lot. He goes into detail. Uh, He's got a maintenance background. Worth every cent. Absolutely. Trust me. Yep. I, I, would go, I would go nowhere. I would go nowhere but one step prep. It's, here we go, man. Here we go. It's a lifesaver. It's a live I'm, interview, man. It's a lifesaver. Listen to that. I would, uh, I would recommend this Delta American United. They need to step up their game. Yeah, yeah step it up. Thanks step it up. Well, that's right. One step prep. Step it up, man.